us. That was good stuff. That was a really good one. That was a good one. I'm glad we're recording this. I want to I want to switch gears real fast, guys. I made up a little mind map here, and I wanted to uh, talk a little bit about what makes a great salesperson. And uh, basically, uh, let me move this over a little bit here. The I, I put this together this morning, and I'll send it to all of you in the um, email uh, later today. Um, I use my note as I always say. I think you got to. I think uh, part of being successful is the ability to try new things, experiment, regardless of the embarrassment. Hutzpah is a great word I learned in New York City. Um, it's shameless, unapologetic audacity, a disregard for the conventional, a new way to look and express yourself, to be unique, not to sound like everybody else. How hot, how hot, we've talked a lot about this. How important is it to have high self-esteem when we go into a negotiation with somebody? Do you think we, what happens when we become subservient or submissive like our competition? Um, I, think, I think it becomes a tough sale. We end up just uh, being questioned, cross-examined. And then they say, I'll think about it like Chris just did. Uh, sales techniques, we talk about this all the time. Uh, we constantly have to be learning, improving, trying new concepts, learning, learning how to ask questions. Uh, in real, uh, questions are the, that is the power source for closing. Learning how to ask the right questions blended with stroking, nurturing, and empathy. Speaking of empathy, it's the ability, what is really empathy? We talk about that too. To be a great salesperson, you've got to understand what they're thinking. The ability to anticipate, almost read their minds. We can't read minds, but do you think we can make assumptions of where, how they feel? Uh, one of my favorite phrases is to go to people and say, uh, you know what, I, 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 I have walked in your shoes. I have had the same issues and problems you have, Mr. Prospect. This is what we can do to basically know what they're thinking or what they're saying um, in this. What's the underlying ph a philosophy, a belief in right and wrong? We're one of the good guys. Um, a desire to help others while firmly believing that charity begins at the home. And you guys can disagree. This is all very subjective. This is my philosophy. Um, I think charity begins at the home. Once you take care of your family, your responsibilities, I think you can be the most philanthropic person in the world. Um, absolutely. The psychology is so, so important in making yourself into a great salesperson. Under, I ask myself one question every day. How do I make somebody buy from me? How do I do in one phone call, get somebody to listen to me, to respect me, uh, to have an adult to adult dialogue? Uh, I think that, it, that is so essential um, in, 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 in selling. Selling has to be more than a script. It has to be more than a mojo dialer. It has to be making a connection to another person, getting the information, and, and even if you can't sell them, having a good dialogue. We talked a little bit about today, uh, what was it? Um, rejection, how do you deal with rejection? You've, you've, gotta have some, you've gotta have pretty high self-esteem and confidence in your abilities and sales. That just comes from practice, rehearsal, uh, consistent routine, um, absolutely. Um, you have to be a thespian, okay? It's not a dirty word. It, it, it basically means be a good actor. Well, the ability to create an environment conducive to the sale. You, you have to have exceptional persuasion skills. And this takes on more than just the psychology and the words you use. It's, it's, under, it's understanding how do you need to act? What kind of personality do you need to take on? What is that prospect looking for right now? Someone they can like and trust, like Cialdini says, you might have to play. What if you're having a really bad day and, the pro and, 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 and are, you gonna, are you gonna let that go through the phone line when you speak to that prospect or are you gonna play a role like you're an actor on a stage? And this is not to be disingenuous or manipulative or be tricky. It is just to make the prospect um, comfortable, and so there's an exchange of information, and maybe it's a pleasant, com more of a pleasant, if we have more pleasant conversations, does it, don't, won't we make more phone calls? Is that the common sense behind it? So you got to be a good, you have to be a good actor through the whole thing. Um, the ability to take on whatever's necessary, whatever necessary role to make the prospect comfortable, 
trusting, likability, and share information. You can stay, in, the inside in your head is intellectual, you're thinking. The outside though is, is the actor playing that role. And you can even act emotional sometimes. You can tell stories to create a moment when you're speaking to people. Let's go here right up to exceptional communication skills. Did you, has anyone here ever, I can see you guys, has anyone here ever spoke to a very boring person who kind of talks like this? That person drives me crazy, okay? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fast talker, don't laugh so much, Damon. <laughs> I can see you there. I think, I think we have to be, the tonality, the way we use our, the way we use our voice, does our voice have passion in it, enthusiasm? Sometimes we need to speak loudly to get attention. Sometimes maybe you can get that same attention by speaking very slowly. Mr. Prospect, I wanna write a check right now. So how about the, uh, the way you pronounce the words, the speed of the words? Do you talk fast like a New Yorker like me or do you speak slower sometimes? It really depends. These are the skills of persuasion, guys. They take practice, they take time. You're an actor on a stage sometimes. You're not just reading that script or exchanging words or asking for the order five times. This is taking, this is how you become a great salesperson. Are you a risk taker? Okay, you guys know my story about skydiving, right? I say it all the time. I love to go skydiving someday, but I know I'd jump out of the airplane and halfway down I'd say, oh shit, did I put on a parachute? Okay, that, that, do you take re can we take reasonable risks by speaking to enough people and asking the right questions, even though they may hang up on us or, or maybe even not like our directness in it? Consistency, very important. Are we calling, are we speaking? Uh, the gauntlet we talked about earlier, are we speaking to people every day? What is the consistent behavior of a great salesperson? They make offers, they speak to a lot of people, they follow up. That kind of consistent behavior or routine is essential if you're gonna be a great salesperson. What do I mean by a great salesperson? Someone who is really comfortable in their own skin, they, have, they love what they're selling, the deals and the offers they're putting together. Um, they look at it, uh, running their business is one of their joys in life. It's, uh, the, your work is no longer a four letter word when you're enjoying speaking to strangers all day long. Even though mom said, don't talk to strangers. Um, you need a system of sales, why? Because it's better. A system is better than winging it all the time. Learning how to set in it, open up with a pattern interrupt, going into an agenda, then going into the qualification step, learning how to ask questions, positive and negatively, um, with stroking, nurturing, and empathy, all important in a system. You, a system is just better than wigging it. Well, how do they make cars? They used to make cars one at a time, right? Now they make cars when, uh, on, uh, basically on an assembly line. Why? It's better, it's better uh, control on the product, and they can make them faster and cheaper that way. Systems work. Um, emotion, it's my million-dollar rule. It always applies in sales. It's the most important thing I teach. To be a great salesperson, you have to recognize that people make those decisions very quickly if you can make them emotional by the words you use, how you use those words, the stories you tell, and, and putting it all together. You, sometimes you have to act emotional even though inside you're thinking, but if you can get them emotional and use the five senses that we've talked about, Remember, sight, uh, sight, taste, smell, hearing, it's all, it all works. Impatience, this is controversial here, and you can disagree with me on this. I think, imp imp I think impatience is a virtue. You've got a lot of gurus like Gary Vaynerchuk and others, they're saying you gotta be patient. You know what, life, with what we're seeing in the world right now and everything, don't waste a moment of God-given life. Go for it, just, just go for it. Don't be so patient. Even if you think you're not ready, take a chance. You'll learn anyway. Okay, do you know how many times I've embarrassed myself because I was not prepared, I was not ready, I was not experienced enough, but I tried anyway. And even though it kind of, maybe I got a lot of rejection and everything, it was still part of the learning experience. Hunger, hunger, 
What do I mean by hunger? I mean, you cannot, you want to see yourself succeed. It's your personal gauntlet. You want to go out there. You want to succeed. You want to do something different from everyone else. You want to be able to come on this program on Monday and talk about the deal you found, the money you made, the experiences you have. You've got to have the hunger. You've got to, it's, it's really easy to do well and be a great salesperson if you have that hunger. Finally, because I'm out of breath here, success is my oxygen, okay? When I make a sale, I am two feet above the ground. I, when I make a sale or do a deal, I run upstairs to Claudia and say, honey, we're, it's a, it, let's open up a good bottle of wine. It was a good day. And, and that just, it, it's, you know, you can't, success means that you can't even imagine a life of mediocrity. It means that you see so much more in yourself. Oh, was that enough for one breath? <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, base, right there. Let's go back to the group call here. Um, I put that together. I thought about it last night. I put it all together early, five o'clock.